Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about whether or not I have any regrets about some of the luxury bags that I've purchased and this uh, video was requested by a few of my subscribers and I've had it um, in my notes on my phone to do for a while but I've, you know, put it on the back burner but um, yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, oh my god. We are like not even finished winter yet and all of a sudden mother nature be thinking it's like spring summer. I'm literally melting. It's like it's so hot. I don't know. What is the temperature? I don't even know. It feels like it's like... Uh, okay, well, it's 22 degrees. It does not feel like 22 degrees. It feels like 30 degrees and I am on fire. Ah! But anyway, <laughs> rant over. <laughs> Anyways, back onto the topic of what I was actually going to be talking about. <laughs> and that is whether or not I have any regrets about luxury items that I've purchased. And I will talk about it from my perspective today because it has obviously changed. So when I think back to when I would first start buying luxury items, probably, I don't know, like seven or eight years ago now, you go in with the mindset like, okay, like this is luxury. It's so expensive. You know, I've saved up my money. I don't earn that much money. So I really want to make the most out of this purchase. And I want to get something that's an all rounder that I can use all of the time. It can be something that you know, it's justified and I'm going to get the most wear out of it. It's going to wear well, blah, 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 blah. So you go through all of those motions, right? But when I think about today, when I would purchase something, I don't think about that. My mindset has changed and I don't know whether or not it's because I'm older or my income is different or you just kind of change, I guess. But I don't go in with that mindset anymore. I go in with, I really like the way that looks. It'll go with certain things that I have. I like the style of it. I like the brand that it comes from. It encapsulates everything that I want in a bag right now when you're about to purchase it. So I don't regret any of my bag purchases. I really don't. And I think that unless you're going in to purchase a bag with a very niche specific purpose, like I need this bag for work, it's got to hold my laptop, it's got to hold this, it's got to hold that, or I travel all the time for work, this bag has to fit under the seat, or it needs to be able to go in the overhead, all of that stuff. Unless you have a very specific purpose, I don't think that you should have regrets when it comes to luxury, because luxury at the time is something that you've purchased because whether it's a trend or whether or not it is a bag that suits your aesthetic at that period in time you bought it because you liked it right and there was a need for it when you purchased it or maybe not a need like <laughs> there was a reason why you purchased it so i kind of look back and think about when i would purchase a bag and why i loved it at that point in time and what it was kind of reflecting i guess and it's like little, you know, moments in time that reflected that moment that you bought. <laughs> Does that make any sense? For example, my Furlapage Hands On 17 bag. I purchased this maybe 18 months ago now, and I saw it on a Instagram suggested feed of somebody in America who had purchased it in the black. Um, I follow this guy now, but back then I, it just popped up and I was so intrigued by it. It's just very unique. Um, and yes, it's just a basic, you know, messenger camera style bag, but you know, the canvas, the yellow accents here, the, the hardware, just everything about it. I was just so intrigued by it. And at that moment, it was something that I wanted to have and I wanted to get it. And Fur Lepage, um, wasn't very popular then, and it's still not very popular now, but I didn't care about that. I liked the way it looked. I liked, you know, the bag and I wanted to get it. And that's how I kind of think about luxury. I think about back in the moment when I purchased it, it was everything I wanted then. And that's why I don't have regrets about purchasing things, even if it's something that I don't use as much today. I still use this bag. Um, and as you can probably tell, like a lot of my bags are this kind of style because it's my favorite kind of style, like camera messenger style. And you know, there was a time, a point in time when I would reach for this bag every single time I would go out. But as you get more things into your collection, you don't reach for it as much. But I could never sell it or get rid of it or regret it because it was something that I wanted at the time. And as just because your collection gets bigger and you're not reaching for the same thing as much, it doesn't mean that you could or you should classify it in your head as a regret. And the more bags I kind of get and the more things I add in, it makes me 
like want to use these bags um, for more like it makes the occasion when you're wanting to wear it a little bit more special because you don't reach for it as much and that's okay that's cool that's what it's about and it reflects a time when you bought it and a moment that you fell in love with something and I don't know if I would ever think of that as a regret if I like if I look to today god I can't speak if I look to today and think oh I'm not using it as much as I once used to Another instance is um, my Loewe puzzle bag, which I love. This is one of my favorite bags. I use it all of the time and I just absolutely love it. And I originally got this bag as a consignment from a client. I loved it so much that I purchased it off the client and still had it advertised, but I decided I wanted to use it. And um, whilst it was listed, I still wanted to get a Pochette Matisse in reverse monogram and I couldn't get that bag out of my head at that time because I thought I wanted it. I ended up selling this and then I went out and purchased the Pochette Matisse and I did love that bag. If I had all the money in the world, I would buy a Pochette Matisse and I would use it for the occasions that I would want to use it for. But this was the bag that I wanted after, you know, playing with it and wearing it and ultimately I probably should have just kept this and not bought the Pochette Matisse. But I don't regret that because I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't have bought the Pochette Matisse and if I hadn't have, you know, bought it, used it and had that experience, then I would have never had anything to compare it to. So if, if that is something that people would consider a regret, I personally don't because you didn't know that information. You don't know those things until you experience it. So I just don't really look at things as regrets. Even luxury aside, I always think about if I hadn't have done that, it wouldn't have given me that information. It would have given me that experience and I would never have known. I'm kind of glad I'm like that because <laughs> I can be quite pessimistic in other avenues. But when it comes to the luxury, I'm just not. I, I really don't, you know, think like that and I just keep coming back to the same point like there was a point in time when I purchased that and I loved it and there's a place that it needs to stay in and it'll do the 360 and I'll come back around and you'll fall in love with it all over again and it'll become your new it bag so that's just kind of how I look at it so I wanted to talk about that because you know I was asked to <laughs> and I think it's a great Thing to kind of share each other's um, perspectives on it and that's my perspective on it no regrets thanks so much for watching this video guys and please let me know in the comments down below what you think if you have a different perspective or if you have a different take on it let me know down below i would also love it if you could give this video the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well and yeah thank you so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time damn i nearly got that all in one take but fuck <laughs> oh well